All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions. We go to the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, five losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Ray. The Taz Mexican Devil, Four. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. other's radars for quite some time tonight it shall be done both guys well-rounded you think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? you just don't know right you don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to it's a close fight on paper and also in every performance we have seen them put on these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other lee gets caught with that punch don't be afraid to get that head off the center line Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Well, that'll work. Counter jab to the head by four. Huge block there. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. 
no feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Nice body kick right under the elbow. He is all about that left kick to the body. to the body by Rabel. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Lee's a strike attempt there is blocked. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's recompose. Nice punch man over the top. Nice defense there. Huge block. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands up. Take more of these leg kicks. You will not be able to be very active on your feet. but misses with the kick. Continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watch this guy going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. He loaded up there in that high kick. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick. And now he lands a combination. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kick. Oh. Reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Ray Borg gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. 20 seconds to go. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Caught the kick. And he switches his stance yet again. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round. And he'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kicks, body kicks. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. 
Dante Bohr gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. She has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that he drops a big right hand after it. He may be able to finish his fight. Powerful leg kick lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ooh, what a punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Just misses there with the left. Let's go, get off. Ward gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Let's get him down. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing. Box. Big leg kick land. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Looking to land the right just out of range. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Let's Let's get going. Effective punch there by Lee. There's no give on that leg kick. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. What a punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on the When it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Nice to the punch. Oh, high amplitude head kick! He's got the kick of the game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Try to establish that jab. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Look at him whip his hip. Lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, straight right. Just missed with the left there. Seconds here of round two. That was the game. Nice strike. Misses with the right hand. Oh All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, 
it might be good night, Irene. Next round is now underway. Hopefully the action Ready? continues at a Ready? high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Misses with that punch. Oh, counters with a straight right hand. That will work. How about that shin? Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch lands. Boom. Of course, lower jump. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. He to can be on his feet right now. Strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of that one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent right very bad. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, oh big left hook there. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Went for the inside leg kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much, he's just keep making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Ooh, nice, nice right here. Beautiful spinning attack there. Caught that kick there. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, strong punch there by four. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Right punches there. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! He got him! What a fight! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed a flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 44 seconds of round number three, declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.
So there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.